Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Along with Piggy. Now in the last episode, we were over here by the sawmill, getting the train ready to go. And yeah, I don't have a really good way to get up here yet, do I? Well, that's how it goes when you've got a whole area that you're working on, and there's a big mess everywhere. Sometimes you just got to deal with all the little, you know, ah, oh, I can't get anywhere. Whoa. <laughs> Thought I saw an Enderman for a second. That was weird. But anyway, we got the train going. And good thing that it stopped here at the end of the track, because there is no more track to be had. We're eventually going to extend this track into the mountain. I'm going to make a cool looking tunnel, and it's going to go way over there to where the water is, so we can build a harbor town. And that way we can deliver the wood and anything else from this area over to the harbor to be shipped off and sold in some far distant country. But today I thought maybe we would do something about this empty track. You see, a train is not all that great of a train if it doesn't have any trailers. So I figured, you know, maybe we can make some cars that could carry the wood to the harbor town. Uh-oh. Looks like the grass haven't, hasn't spread over here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Zombie. What happened? I'll, I'll say, whoa. Oh, no, why did I eat that? Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> and I held it down. Oh, jeez. Okay, so what I'm thinking about doing is I... I don't know yet if I want to extend this dirt out to here. I know eventually at one point I'm going to need to make this big box of dirt look like it belongs in this area. But I do need to make a staging area for all the different kinds of wood. That way, you know, the forklift can get the wood and pile it up in here to be ready to get sawed. I know I also want to have a crane that's going to be able to load logs onto the train to be shipped off. But I'm not quite sure where I want everything to go. And this sometimes happens. You have a really good idea. You have a really good plan. But you just can't quite see it in your head where you want it to go. So the other idea I'm thinking about doing is um, I don't know if it would fit here. That would probably be a good thing to find out. Would the, the tree farm fit in this spot? I almost think it would. But I'm also looking at, I don't want it to feel like that it's crowding this area. So a lot of planning needs to be involved in trying to get all that stuff to look good. Hmm. So, but I'm not going to bore y'all with all that planning stuff because that got boring. So today what I thought about doing is we're going to build some cars that will hook up to our train. that are going to have wood logs on them. So... I'm, uh, I've got some designs that I came up with. I'm going to go get me a few screenshots of those designs so I have something to reference. I'm going to go gather me some materials and figure out a way to get up here. <laughs> oh. And then we can get started building on the train cars. So I'll be right back. There we go. Well, I was over at the house gathering up some supplies. I figured I'd grab a stack of dirt and just, you know, fill it in. Maybe every time I come by here, if I just stop for a minute and put a stack of dirt down, eventually I'll get this area filled in and it won't feel like such a big chore. But I went and looked at the, de the design for the, the cars I'm going to use, and I realized I've got to have birch. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to build with birch. And I'm not going to use uh, birch planks. We're going to use the logs because I need to make it look like it's got birch logs loaded on the trailers. But believe it or not, I don't really have that many birch logs. I think I used up most of the birch that I had collected on these gears and in this area right in here. And normally I don't build a lot with birch, so I think that kind of explains why I didn't have a lot laying around. Now I could chop these down right in here, 
but I'm not quite quite ready to to clear this area because I'm still trying to figure out how I want to lay out everything. And I like how it naturally spawned. Sometimes if you chop everything down, if you try to go back and plant things and make it look natural, sometimes it can just, you know, not come out the way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little, my little tree method here and just lay out. That'll work. We'll get 10 of those going. And if I need more, once we chop it down, we'll just take the saplings and get some more going. But before I get started making the cars, I know, good old Piggy always says he's going to do something and then getting distracted. Well, I promise we're going to make some cars. But first, when I was looking at the designs, I realized that I had done something a little different than I did here. You see, when you lay tracks down, they usually have what's called ballast. It's like a mixture of rocks and gravel, and that gets laid down on the ground, and then the track gets laid on top of it. Well, when I built this, I mixed it up. Actually, I didn't mix it up. I think that was the problem. I had used a whole bunch of gravel, and in my original design, I had it kind of mixed up a little. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. So we would have some cobble in there, and let me see if I can get back here, just so you can see. We're going to, now you know it's there, okay? So what I want you to do is, I'm going to look past it real quick, and I don't want you to focus on it. Maybe look up here or something like that, okay? So ready? Watch. We're just going to pass by. And see that? You didn't really notice it was there. But something inside your brain in the background went, wait a minute. There's not a pattern. Something changed. And I think I want that feel to be all the way down the length of this. Now, I had also looked at how this hill was designed. The problem is, if this hill was like this and it rained, whoosh, it would all get washed down here. We'd have a big mess. The forklift would get stuck in the mud. All the production would get shut down. And the train might even topple over. So I had created kind of like a stair effect. I'll do it right here just to show you. It was kind of like that, and that's not a good angle. And I probably should have done more just to get a better. But see how that looks a little angled? And I'm going to have to go through and I'm going to have to change the dirt blocks that are underneath the railroad ties so that you don't see a bunch of dirt messing up the pattern. So I'm going to go off camera for a second. We're going to let these birch trees... Oh, good! One of them already grew. And sun? Ah, always fighting the sun. So I'm going to make it day. I'm going to go through and kind of change up this design a little bit. And then once I get all that wood collected, we can get started on the trailers. And I think I liked how it worked last time where I built half of the train, came back on and built the other. So probably what I'm going to do is something like that. I want two trailers. So I think I'm going to build one trailer and come back on camera and y'all can see what it looks like. And then you can watch me build the other one. And that way y'all will know how to build it too. That was weird. <laughs> that little shadow was kind of catching my attention. Always distracted. There we go. That's looking a whole lot better. And I'll show you this. Unfortunately, we can only make cobble half slabs right now. We can't make gravel half slabs. And... This is something I'm really hoping comes out in 1.9. New stairs and new half slabs. Even if it's the same blocks that we use, I would love to have the option to build with half slabs and stairs. I know in modded Minecraft there's, uh, there's slab craft and stair craft, and most of the blocks in vanilla show up as half slabs and stairs. It's really cool. I know, and I won't look to the left long enough for you to get a good glimpse, will I? Well, okay, let's go ahead. Oop, that's not a good glimpse either. That's kind of a glimpse. Let's see, I'll jump over here. So, yep, and I went ahead and I started growing some of the birch over here because I don't know why, but the birch way over there, that eh, was just a little too far. I don't know what I was thinking, but I think I've collected enough birch. So there we go. And yeah, from here, that underside kind of looks a little weird. 
but I have a feeling once I get the wall and all the other stuff in here, that plainness isn't going to be that big of a deal. And I'm still not really doing this thing justice. I tell you what, we'll get to work building the other one. And then at the end, I'll go stand up there again like I did when we finished the train. And we can get a really good look at it. So, and you can see where I kind of lowered the ground some. I've gotten rid of some of the trees because I have a feeling that this area is going to get built. Something's going to go here. I went ahead and moved the trees because they were getting in my way from adding all this dirt. So, let's see. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to have to... Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get some dirt. We'll just grab this block here. We only need one. Don't. Oh, yeah. This is a little tunnel spot that I made myself be safe at, and I went AFK because I was waiting on some more trees to grow, and I wanted some of the grass to start to spread. But, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to place two blocks like that as a placeholder because I want this piston to not do that. Boy, I tell you what, I don't know if y'all mess with pistons a lot, but they can be really frustrating when you're trying to get them to do what you want. So, we'll do like that. And now that looks like what's called a coupler. That's the part that holds the trailers together. So now I'm going to build this little part right here. We're going to come out, not like that, but like that. We're going to come out three. And then let's see, one, two, three. And then it's going to be two wide and one down. So I'm going to pop this right here like that. Don't. Oh. <laughs> I keep clicking on the wrong thing. No, that, that'll actually work. That needs to be there. We'll switch over here to these coal blocks. Now, at first when I was designing this, I was like, I don't know if I want coal blocks to be the tires or the wheels on a train. Because the wheels on a train, they're not, they're not black. They're actually silver. But I couldn't really find one, a block, that gave me the silver look that I wanted. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five by three. So we'll do that at that same level. I couldn't find a silver solid block that was going to give me the look I wanted. And at the same time, see, am I supposed to be at that height? Yes. Okay. So I couldn't find a silver block that would give me the wheel look that I wanted. Two, three, four, five. And that would still stand out. Because if you look, there is a lot of gray going on here. And... For some reason, Mojang has decided that, like, gray is the theme of Minecraft, or so it seems. I mean, don't, you know, don't quote me on this. I don't have the exact number, but I would almost bet money that if you took all the different colored blocks that exist in the game, gray would have the most blocks. Uh-oh, I'm going to need some more buttons. We'll just do that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so... One, two, like that. And then we're going to come out three more. Hope I have enough half slabs. So, one, two, three. There we go. So it's good to have, you know, grays with different shapes and textures on them. So you can really come up with... Oh, you always messing with me. You and the sun. Y'all must be partners. There we go. I know, it's kind of looking a little wonky right now, but just trust me, this is going to work. So, it's great to work with the different grays, with the different textures. It can You can use it to add layers and uh, different effects. But what ends up happening is, after a while, everything starts to look gray. So you have to mix in some items that have color just to break it up. So what I like to do is I usually like to use the gray blocks to give me a shape, a mass. Uh-oh, let's go ahead and go to sleep. We don't need to get attacked by spiders and stuff. They, they really like to spawn in these dark spots. And I want to put light down there. But the problem is, I think it'll look silly with light glowing from underneath. So I've kind of skipped that. Oh, you, why you got to do this to me? <laughs> there we go. 
So you can kind of see right here, let me pop back out. See how I used gray to make a shape and then color to kind of, you know, make something interesting to look at. So let's pop back over here. We're going to do a bunch of these dark oak half slabs. Just like that. And let's see, extend that out. And I think I can just go ahead and pop myself up here with some dirt. There we go. So, by using the gray to give you the shape, you can use color to draw the eye at things, make things look like it's got more detail than maybe it would normally. And that's a long way of saying, that's why I used black for the wheels. Because if I used another color, it seemed like things were just kind of getting lost in the mix. Let's see, I'm going to need one, two, three, four more buttons, I think. Oh, <laughs> there we go. We'll just pop that right up there. And it was one, two, three spaces, and then one, one, two, three, and then one. And then we'll come over here and put two more and a button. And this is just like the train. It's a very symmetrical shape, which is a fancy way of saying it's like a mirror image. So if you can get half of it right and just copy that, you're going to get the other half right. Now, here's the... the oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we can't have that. I'm going to have to show you all, and then I'm going to have to fix this later because I'm not going to be able to deal with that. I've got to know... I've got to know there's something inside. Mainly because if I leave one hollow empty space in here, I have a feeling that baby zombies could spawn in there. And that would just be annoying. I don't want to hear that sound. So, we're just going to do like this. And I'm going to do that. And all I'm doing is I'm giving myself a block to build up against. Hmm... Well, I'll just do this. There we go. And, okay, good, I have an X. You know what? Let's just go for it. We'll put cobble in here. No one will ever know. Except me and you. <laughs> so don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, hey, did you know Piggy put cobble in there? He says he's shipping logs, but I think he's got cobble hidden inside. That's like shady practices or something. So here we go. Hmm. You work with me. There we go. We'll just extend this out like that and get stuck. And then bring that out like there. I bet I'm going to run into that dirt, aren't I? Yep. So we'll doop, 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 doop. There we go. And we need to fix that because that's going to look really weird from the outside. But we're almost there. I'm going to use these fences. And I wanted this to look like a design, like you've got a structure holding the logs up. And I've seen cars before. When I was a kid, I used to live uh, near some railroad tracks. And me and my brother, we used to watch the... There we go. We used to watch the cars go by. Sometimes they would have wood on them. Uh-oh. Why oh, I mess that up? Come here. And they have it built in such a way, the cars, that the logs can be on there, but they won't come rolling off. And I'm kind of building it by memory, the design that I made. So I'm not 100% certain that this is going to be accurate to real life. But that's okay, it's Minecraft. We can, we can be creative. But, and I've seen people do this before. This is not something I came up with. But I found that if you use the railroad tracks from afar, it almost makes it look like something's tying it down. And I think that's it. I think we just built ourselves two trailers. Look at that. Woohoo! So, I'm going to jump all over this train, leave my dirty little footprints everywhere. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop up here. We're going to hop up here so y'all can see what this looks like. Oh, I hope this is a good angle. Oh, that's not good at all. We'll just jump up here. Try like that. Oh, might be able to get up one more. Yes, Piggy does it. He scaled that mountain. So there we go. That is going to be our train. 
with two trailers loaded with birch wood just ready to go. So, what I want you all to do is I want you to go ahead and add cars to your train as well. And remember, you can copy my design, you can come up with your own design, it doesn't matter. Remember, what I want you to do is express, whoop, <laughs> there we go, that looks better. Oh no, dirt! You're messing up the view. We'll have to fix you in a minute. But I want you guys to express how you build stuff in Minecraft. Then I want you to take pictures of it and send it to me on Twitter. Don't worry about if you think it's just real beginner or if it's super advanced. You know, Don't judge yourself in that manner. Look at it and decide. Did I give it my all? Did I come up with something that expresses who I am? Oh, you stone pillar. You're going to have to go too. But I think we're going to call it quits for today. I have got to get ready because we have got two more episodes and we're going to be at episode 20. So we got to hurry up and get something special going for episode 20. So I'm going to get back to work collecting some resources and trying to figure out what I want to do with this area and maybe figure out where in the world are we going to put this tree farm. So guys send me pictures on Twitter. I'm going to get my resources and I will see you guys in the next episode.